Hello there. I hope you are doing fine, having a great time and enjoying your lives. I have recently realized that many people are having trouble playing the pirated version of Elden Ring with their controllers, so I thought I should make a quick video about how to solve that issue and help you guys out. But before moving on to that part of the video, I should warn you that playing pirated video games is simply stealing, so this video is only for educational purposes. Well, let's get to it. The first thing you should do is going to this site. I have included the link in the description and download this application for 64-bit games. When the downloading process is complete, unzip the file to somewhere easily accessible for you, then head right into the folder where you have installed Elden Ring. There you have to modify the file which is named as this. Right click to it, open it with a notepad, scroll down and there you will have something with controller, yeah, this. Change this to 7 and save it. Then head to where you unzip the file we have just downloaded. Copy this into the folder where you have installed Elden Ring. If you are someone using DualShock 4 on your computer like me, go and start DualShock 4 for Windows. Connect your controller. You can connect it via cable or Bluetooth, it doesn't matter. Then go to the settings tab and make sure hide DS4 controller option is checked. Then head back to the installation folder of Elden Ring and start the application we have copied here. It will prompt you with this warning, just click create. It will create a file in the, the Elden Ring folder. Click next. Click finish. For some reason it detects your controller twice, you can just cancel the second one. If it's not configured correctly uh, by itself, uh, do the configuration yourself, but if the if a DualShock for Windows is seeing your controller as an uh, Xbox 360 controller, you will have no problem. Just make sure that DualSense or what or DualShock 4 is seen by your computer as an Xbox 360 controller. Now only one step is left. You should again head back to the installation folder for Elden Ring and rename this file. Erase 3 and instead write a 4. Well now we are good to go so let's try it out. Well it works just fine. That's great. Well that was it for the video. I hope you will have a nice time playing Elden Ring. So take care and see you in another video.